Good morning everybody, we party from across the shop and another video this morning for a big knife, a big, um, I don't even, I wouldn't call it a work knife, it's it's just a lovely big, <laughs> it's a lovely big knife. Uh, if you're of that persuasion that you like a larger knife to carry about with you for EDC, this is a beautiful looking knife that will get any work done that you want to do. So, let's get right to it. It is a Y start comes in this uh, very basic cardboard box. It's an LK5018 and it comes in bubble wrap inside the, <coughs> the box. Now, personally, I think that is one of the nicest scales Y start has ever put on their knives. Look at the detail on that handle look at the different variations look at that even the detail on the the spine of the knife is absolutely beautiful the lock bar and over travel stop the milled pocket clip it's lovely. It's not deep carry, but it's a nice carry. Nice big lanyard hole. Just a small spacer at the back. Held in with two screws. And you have your um, pivot screw up here. It's one of these ones that's got the three, but just an ordinary flat. Screwdriver takes it apart, no problem. Look at the shape on the blade. This is what drew my interest when I first picked it up. I thought, oh, that's interesting. Then I went to... It's a flicker, went to flick it, nothing. And then he looks and I sees this little bar here. There you are. And I thought, why would you have that there? Well, it's a liner lock and that keeps it secure. Now, I don't think it particularly needs that. It's probably something I'm going to, somebody asked me to have a look at it. I'll be perfectly honest, I haven't taken it apart. But I would say that that probably wouldn't be an issue in taking that out if you didn't want it. But I haven't felt the need to take it out. Once you do that, your knife's free and out comes that blade. And then you can push this back again. And that's it set in there. Now, to me, that is a beautiful knife. It's a long knife. But a really interesting, I don't know what sort of a fuller you would call that, but I have not seen one like it. And this knife was from, it's obviously at some part of the uh, World Cup. If I can bring that up and show you. There we go. The FIFA World Cup in Russia 2018, um, which France won. Um, so it's sort of unusual to have that on a blade. It doesn't say anything more about it. It's Y start, it's titanium, and it's VG10. And it comes, look at the, the, the blade grind. It's really perfect on both sides. It comes absolutely razor sharp. Ooh. Listen to that. There's no noise at all. It is completely razor sharp from tip to toe, which is lovely. I mean, I really just think a lot of these budget knives do take the time and effort to make their blades sharp when they come, and I love that. But let's give you an idea of what size. I'm saying it's big, right where it is, let me tell you. It is about 23 and a half centimetres long. Uh, let me just give you a blade length. The blade length up to the hilt here is 10 centimetres. So... In real measurement, that is nine and a quarter inches. So this is a big knife. And it's almost, almost four inches up to the, the hilt there. That is a really big knife. Um, but it doesn't behave like a really big knife. It drops beautifully. I'll do that again. I really didn't get that in camera. But it does. It's on bearings. It just drops beautifully. Now, shall we see what weight it is? Now, let's get this wee machine going. Now, let's get it where you can see it. 
148 grams and ounces. It's only 5.2 ounces. And to be honest with you, for a near 4 inch blade and 9 and a quarter inches long, that is one big knife. I don't care how big your hands is. Unless you're an ape, that's not going to, you're going to get on there. You're going to fit this lovely. It really is such a beautiful knife. And it just drops shut. It really is knife. Can you flick it? Can you? I couldn't get it to come down. Oh, there it is. Now, that was a hell of a thump to get that down. So this isn't really needed. But it's there, I suppose, if you want to leave your house, you know, leave it lying about in the front room. The kids are not going to be able to open it. They'll not think to do that. Um, and I am never in that much of a rush that I'm going to worry too much about that. But I just think the, the aesthetics is absolutely beautiful. Flow through, uh, no liners, just the titanium, which is absolutely fine. It is lovely. The clip goes in and out of your pocket. There's a lovely rise in it. Really nice. Really, really nice. And the only written on this side is the VG10. Isn't that lovely? And the unusual bit is having that Russia 2018, which is nice. I quite like that. It's a bit different to have on a knife. Quite how I started getting into the Russia and what a knife was doing at the the FIFA World Cup, I have no idea. No idea, and I haven't found anything out about that. But look at that spine. Look at the way they have that. Isn't that just beautiful? And there's no jimping as such. But when you hold this, funnily enough, this little back bit when it's up is lovely to rest your thumb against to do some work, and especially if you're cutting. It really is nice because it's raised, and it's nice. It's the perfect distance to set your thumb on. Now, I'm sure all that was taken into consideration. But if you want to go forward, you have this lovely dip where the fuller ends. The fuller's not very long and it's smooth. It's not going to collect a lot of gunk. But you can really reach up and do smaller tasks with this knife. So it gives you plenty of options. A great big work knife. I think a, a, a genuinely just lovely, lovely knife. I'm not a particularly big knife person, as you know. But I really do like this knife. I really do. I would love a three inch version of that. I think that for me would be, you know, a three inch blade version of that would just sell like hot cakes. Sell like hot cakes. It is beautiful. But I do like this one and I will be hanging on to this one. It is a really nice knife in hand. Yes, you feel the pocket clip a bit, but by no means uncomfortable. Good solid blade, good tip, strong right out to here and that will give you the, the benefit of give you a bit of prying or poking. Not that we would do that with our knives, but um, beautiful. So, is there anything else I need to tell you about the knife? There isn't really. I mean, it's just a nice big knife. Uh, again, it came perfectly sharp. Absolutely perfectly sharp. Listen to that. Doesn't matter where I take that on that telephone paper, it is just gorgeous. Now, what I didn't tell you was the thickness of the blade. See, you were gonna let me go there and I wouldn't have told you that. Now oh Stephen. It is my goodness, it's four millimeters all day long. Four millimeters. So that is one heck of a lump of VG10. Great. Absolutely great. Now, um, I just, let me just give you the price and then you can tell me what you think of this knife. Now, I'm just going to run over what you're getting um, before I give you that price. You're getting a nine and a quarter inch titanium um, VG10, four millimeter VG10, ceramic ball bearing knife with this lock. Whether you like it or not, I am quite convinced that will come off on the inside. I would say that's just pinned in there um, if you didn't want to take it off. To be honest, I'm quite happy leaving it on. It doesn't bother me. It actually is nice. When Try it first when you get it. 
if you're going to get it, try it first just to see. I like the feel of it like that, to be honest with you. Yes, if you want this as a tactical knife, fine, take it off. Uh, it's not a tactical knife for me. So, the price for this today is £62. I don't know where else you're going to get a big lump like that. That is so well made. That is so intricate. The milling is absolutely, you know, it's perfect. It's perfect is the only thing I can say. It's perfect. It is a lovely, unusual looking blade shape, the spine shape. They've gone completely out of their way. It's obviously a limited edition. I don't know many that have of these. But with that Russia 2018, the FA Cup, or not the FA Cup, the World Cup, which is football, by the way, for those Americans, it's soccer, you call it. Um, it was the World Cup. Um, sorry, I don't mean that to sound as if I'm teaching you to suck eggs, but maybe maybe some don't. We, we just call it football over here, whereas you call it soccer. Now, I just think for £62, that is plenty of knife for your money. So, I'll leave it with you. It's a thought-provoking one because it is quite expensive. It is a lot of money that, you know, maybe people don't have to put out. But to me, if you know anybody, especially who likes football, there's a Christmas present. Do you know, that is a half-decent Christmas present. And be you American, and football's taken off in America now, if you know anybody who likes football, there and likes knives, my goodness, you've got the, the perfect birthday, Christmas present, Father's Day, you know, whatever. I just think for £62, I'm not sure what that is in dollars. I really am not. It must be $75, $80. But it's the same price as a Delica. Do you know what I mean? It's about the same price as a Delica. And it's VG10, like a Delica. But look at that titanium handle and look at that blade. Near four inches of blade. I mean, that's, that's not bad going. I mean, that is a heck of a difference from a Delica. And I think it's when you break it down to that sort of standard. That VG10 is just razor sharp. Uh, the same as it does in the Delica. But to get a big knife, working life, pair that with your nice blue Delica. There you go. There's a proud carry for the day. All right, folks. I'll leave you go with that. I think it's a great knife for both, you know, for both sides of the Atlantic and, and all round. The World Cup was a big thing. I just think for the man in your life who likes football, there is a great Christmas present. It's not far to Christmas now. Um, same price as a Delica. Would he rather have a Delica or something like that? That's my option. Take care. Goodbye, everybody. I'm away for a wee cup of tea. I hope you like that knife. I genuinely do. I think it's beautiful. Take care. All the very best. We parties away for tea.